and it's Julia here from Shiny Stars and I'm here to do your weekly forecast reading beginning today, Monday June the 20th, all the way through to Sunday June 27th. So I'm using the colour Faulkner Tarot deck today. So let's see what guidance or messages these cards have to give us for the upcoming week ahead. Here we go. So for Monday, here we have the Six of Pentacles. So Pentacles is very much about money within the Faulkner Tarot, but it can also talk about wanting more balance, particularly where our emotional relationships are concerned. But as I'm looking at the card today, um, I'm very much drawn to this hidden money that's down here underneath the wallet. So this card does bring us money. It brings us the right amount of money to get us out of hot water. So it's just what we need. So, you know, it really does have a truly magical side to it. You know, maybe there's a win on the lottery or a tax rebate and it's just the right amount of pennies that you need to either buy some shoes for your children or to take them for a tree. I know for many of us it's the summer holidays. Now, it can actually work in the opposite way too. Maybe we feel as if we're, you know, as soon as that money comes in, it's going out again. So, maybe again with the financial side, we need to take into consideration the balance. Have we got enough coming in? For what's actually going out. Um, I just feel that we need security, we need stability as we're going into Monday and Tuesday, um, particularly around the materialistic and the financial side of life. On the emotional front, I'm very drawn to the sort of reflection here. So it just feels as if we need to be reflecting maybe on a relationship you know, is it 50-50? Are you both pulling your weight? Okay, so I'm going to leave you with that. Right, Wednesday and Thursday. Here we have the Hierophant card. So this is a really serious card actually um, in the Tarot deck. It's about, it's the highest guide card. It's all about doing the right thing. Okay, maybe there are some situations or issues going on you right now that actually need your attention. Maybe you've been approaching somebody um, that is actually going to be able to give you some advice. So this card can represent a teacher or maybe somebody influential that is going to be helping you. Okay, I do feel very much that communication is important. Um, I'm seeing the aerial up here on the roof but I'm also very much drawn to these bright flowers down here and this one here actually looks like a tulip and tulips are very much about having fun bringing that playful energy back in I also feel as well as you go through Wednesday and Thursday use your intuition as I say this is quite a spiritual card and it is really about you know you need to do things in the right way for those of you that have already made some decisions and maybe you've asked for help, this card is saying that help is on its way and yes, you have made the right decision. So here we go, another major arcana. So I thought we were going to be in for quite a calm week, but it feels as if there's some quite big decisions that, and cycles that we're sort of all going through. Justice is very much about weighing things up. Okay, can be linked to the legal side. So if any of you are dealing with legal issues or paperwork, I just want to say read the small print, make sure that you understand everything that's written down. Okay, if we're not talking about the legal issues, then it just feels that this is a time when truth and honesty are needed. Now the right person will always win with this situation. And as I'm saying this, I'm very much drawn to this leaf down here, which actually looks like a love heart. 
So again, I feel that it's very much about those emotional issues. But providing we're truthful, we're honest, you know, we get that emotional balance back in, the right person is in a sense going to win the day. You know, maybe if there are some disputes going on within the emotional sense. So, lots to take in this week, but I think the overall message here is we need to get the balance back. We need to be doing things in the right way and certainly at the right time. Ask for help if you need to, don't be afraid. And most importantly, just look after yourself. You know, I almost feel as if you hold the keys to your own success, but maybe we just need to find the right door to put the key into. So, there we go. If anybody would like their own reading, please feel free to drop me a message on the Facebook page or visit the website www.shiningstarreadings.simple.com and I look forward to connecting with you again next week. Take care. Bye.